Oh, hello and happy Friday. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, but we're doing it SA Live style. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm David Elder filling in for Mike Osterhage. One small step for man. One giant leap for woman for womankind and there it is right there, <gasps> there that, that is our mark you know we actually went to the moon to film that, <laughs> that I... <laughs> it was that we easy did. yeah it was that easy you wear the suit you get to go it's crazy you put the nasa hat on they let you do anything over there well, what's going on guys i'm david elder filling in for mike Osterhage, of course <laughs> the wonderful fiona you know, Gorsiza. and that's, our that's our interns of... are out of this world too <laughs> look at angelico she is making sure she helps clean up the moon right. dust out there you don't get, worry we're gonna help her yeah we're you gonna get help universal her. experience that you can take anywhere <laughs> All right, well, today we are celebrating the moon and stars, but if you're talking about space, you can't leave out aliens. That's right. And so, you know, we want you to share your thoughts, right? There yes, he is. Look we, at that. <laughs> we want to know. if you. What do you think? Aliens? Yes or no? Do you think they exist? Do you think they exist just like that? I, <laughs> I hope they do. Are they being kept in Area 51? And Y'all if, think it's a what? bunch of just boo hockey? That just whole thing know. just kind of blew up, didn't it? In the beginning of the week, everybody's like, we're going to Area 51. I don't know if everybody's gonna really going to do it, but we want to know what you think about aliens, true or false, yes or no. Go on to SA Live KSAT on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, you can also go on, on Instagram as well and tag us in your story. Let us know uh, if you think that they're real or not. And any experiences you have, videos, pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep we it clean, folks. We Keep it clean. Family yeah, that's show. right, right. But share your thoughts with us. All right. To kick off the day, we're bringing the stars into your hands with some fun spacecrafts you can do with kids to celebrate the moon landing anniversary. A local crafter, Stephanie Benyafrost, is here to show us how to make a galaxy in a bottle. And these are so cool looking and really <laughs> fun for kids to just kind of play with, right? Yes, exactly. It's super easy to make. Styrofoam balls, oh. paint them up. <laughs> We're just going to leave that here. Excellent. Yeah, you know what? It's the hat. My, yours it's stays on. I don't mind. Mine didn't want to stay on. I know. You're way too much fun. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I did not get into the galaxy in the but bottle, like I swear. These, I, I, did you drink some of this? <laughs> but this looks fantastic. This is, I mean, you had all this stuff when, I mean, when you're growing up, and it's just so fun to look at. But you're going to show us how to make this yes, right now. Definitely. What is the first thing you do? So the first thing you do, you, you find the really cool water bottles. Um, I picked these up at CVS. They have them at Target. It's the Voss water. Yes. I love it because it's the, the flat bottom and the cool tops. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you take your bottle and you take, everybody, of course, has to have some, some glue at home, some, mm -hmm. some glitter glue at home. You want to dump that in the bottom of that. So you want the whole thing? The whole thing. Just squeeze it on as much as you can get in there. Okay. There we go. Yeah. He's doing it the hard way. She's doing it the easy way. What did you do? What did you do? Like oh, you didn't did you make the top off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so right. don't do it the way I'm doing and it at home. You there you go. You want to pour a little bit of water into it like this. Okay. It's all right. That suit's a little yep. tight. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's constricting oh, it's the blood okay, flow to my head, too. This is go. what's happening. So you put a little bit of water in there. Now, you want that swirl. water warm but not hot, right? right? You don't want it hot because you don't want it to melt the bottle. So you okay. just swirl it around. Okay. okay. And you... You want to take some glitter, dump some glitter in there real quick. Okay. Right. And the warm water is for the glue, is that correct? Just to kind of break it down a little bit? Yes, exactly. That's How much glitter do you put in? However much you want. Ooh, now like dump that. your glycerin. All right, now is there a trick? Do you need to put the whole thing in there? Ho whole thing in okay, there. Okay, so take the whole entire thing in there. <laughs> and you can find this uh, just in the first aid aisle, in right? first aid aisle. I got that okay. one at Walmart. Okay. It's just a nice, non-toxic, viscous... Look at that guy. Fluid. It's kind of cool. It helps. You're suspend. so smart with this. I feel like yeah. <laughs> I'm like doing it the hard way. I'm, just, I'm letting gravity do the work for me. That's yes, right. Let I'm the astronaut that they'll replace with a chimp later on. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good. So, how did I get this NASA hat? I don't even know. How did all you right. get this? Okay. So we get it all out of there like that. And then you want to, uh, so you take some, some. Food coloring. Food coloring. coloring. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Make it a little bit more blue. Ooh. Nice and pretty and cool. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to add some, a different color, like some purple in it to make it more cosmic, or there's some Ooh. pink here, you can also do that as well. I'm going to put to. some cosmic pink well, in I'll there. do a little uh, bit of pink. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and then put the big stars in there, because, you know, out in the galaxy, you have great big stars, little stars all over the place. And okay. then you top it off with the rest of the warm water and give it a shake. So... You know, we, we were talking earlier about aliens. Yes. Uh -huh. And what do you think? Aliens, yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. yes. okay. Because it'd be a yeah. lonely place if it was only us out here. Right. Yeah. That's 
Okay. And why not? It, it gives us something water. to talk about. So then, we, <laughs> so then we just top it off with the more roast. water. More water. water. There you go. Okay. You taught me off there too. And now, where could people go to get? I mean, because you have so many different little crafts and things. Is there like a website? Do you have a blog? Do you have an Instagram? Anything like that? that so you can... you can find me either on Instagram or on Facebook under Princess and the Monkey. Oh, well, there you go. Yes. Oh, and look at all the extra stuff you have on I there. Do, so you have like painting tutorials. I do painting well? tutorials. Mm -hmm. So I have all the tips for this um, on my Facebook page. I went ahead and posted them. I found them on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. I just searched them, found it, found it all up, found some cool little ideas about painted rocks, painting some <laughs> uh, wine bottles because I don't have enough. See, at home. and this is this is cool right here. So you can take your old wine bottles yes. and kind of do a little galaxy do theme. Do a little galaxy <laughs> thing on it. What, what did you use to, to put in there for the lights? So just I the... have uh, fairy lights. They're just little fairy lights on a string, on a cord, battery oh. operated. Kind of makes it cool. Turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. Some mood lighting for your lunar landing <laughs> celebration some moon, today. Moon and some moon rocks. And some moon rocks. I found these cool. Not uh, from the actual moon. No, I did not <laughs> storm the moon. <laughs> and then, uh, I, I made some homemade moon sand, the kinetic sand mm -hmm. that the uh, museum showed you how to make yes. the other day. Just threw in some glitter for it to make it kind of fun and cool. And just kind of have a little celebration here. So you and play with your century yeah, bottles. Yeah, and you actually you also have some different ideas for other ways to make this similar thing that we're making here. Because this yes. one is a little bit more, like you said, it kind of suspends it a little bit differently, right? This, so, this, so this is the same recipe as with that one. So so it'll separate over, you know, leave it sitting out for about 30 minutes. It separates. And then you just shake it up around. And it just kind of floats, <laughs> kind of cool, suspended. I did one with um, baby oil and food coloring and water, yep. which is the tall one over there, to kind of give you an idea. And that one looks like the lava lamp when she was playing with it. Well, Stephanie, thank you so yeah. much for coming yeah, here and yeah, showing yeah. us all these crafts. Thanks. And for more information on crafting expert Stephanie Benya Frost, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, well, if you're looking for an out-of-this-world adventure, look no further than the San Antonio College SCOVI Educational Center. That's right, and right now, our lunar it's all about the lunar landing, right? So our SA Live crew went out there for a big adventure to the moon and back. You remember 50 years ago? I know you don't. When man first set foot on the moon, Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, oh, it was, it was like it was yesterday. It still gives me chills to think about it, long before even the space shuttle was thought about. And now, we gotta get that enthusiasm, keep it going. Yes, we're here at the SCOBY Education Center. They have a lot going on. We're gonna go learn from some of the kids that are all about space, really. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. All right. Let's go. go. We're here with one of the cosmic kids, Matthew Cruz, who's learning all about space exploration and the moon and everything like that. So, what do you think about the camp? It's fun. What's the best part? Um, flying the drones. <laughs> flying the drone, trying to land on the moon? Yeah. What have you learned about the moon? There's been many astronauts who've gone on it, and there's been a failed attempt sometimes. So you have to now plan out how you're gonna do the drone and land something on the moon and all that, right? Yeah, and this is how, this is how you start it. Okay. That's how you start flying. Okay. This steers it. Okay, so. Oh, goodness gracious. It's, oh no, I can't. it has to like, oh no. It, um, if oh you gosh, push it sorry, up, John. push there it up. Oh, thank you. there we go. Hold that, oh. It tether it, um, something like that. Whoa. The eagle has landed. <laughs> Here, in case it's broken, I'll give that to you. <laughs> We're the Thunderbolt! So tell me about the EV3. We build it from Legos in a box. So this is Lexi, can I try? Yeah. So how does it work? It is um, so this is forward, forward backwards, backwards, sideways forward, other sideways forward, sideways, that turns. Other way. Okay, so what's the goal here that we're trying to do? So the drop off, we originally put that up and have um, the piece in it, and we go to the circle and try and drop it in the middle of the Ooh, circle. Okay. And then with that one, uh, you would drive up to it with that thing up, and then you put it down on it and drive it back. So now we're going to pick up something. And this is supposed to be a simulation with them as if we're on the moon, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go off the moon, you go into deep space. Oh, we don't want that. So we're bringing it back. Oop. Right over our craters. Oh, not the craters. Okay. Perfect. So we're successful, right? Yeah. Success. Success. It's in mission complete. <laughs> I like it. 
50 years ago, Apollo 11 landed on the moon. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. It. I, yeah, and yeah. how do you get that <laughs> same excitement in kids nowadays? Where we really get excited is when the kid comes in without any expectations and they leave as excited as these kids are because we then see them come back again and they do other community events or other things with us. So tomorrow morning is starting at 9 o'clock. We're going to have the next Giant Leap event for our community and we're going to have a number of activities set up around the center that the kids can come out and do hands-on activities with us. We'll have presentations from Southwest Research Institute, uh, from UTSA, uh, the WEX um, Foundation will bring their L LCATS um, robotics out. Friday nights, we're open for the planetarium, and uh, we've brought in a special license for a, a program called Capcom Go, which was done specifically for the anniversary of Apollo oh, wow. 11. Absolutely. But this is really neat. So Friday nights, you can come in here tonight even, and... and come and see this because you yeah. open this up to the public. If the weather is cooperating, then uh, we'll be able to let people come up and look at the moon through the telescope. All right. Well, thank you, thank you so much. Well, of course, a big thank you to Anne Sarah Winton Chevrolet for making these big adventures possible. For more information on Anne Sarah Winton Chevrolet, just visit AnnSarahChev.com. Still ahead on SA Live. You don't need a rocket or a telescope to celebrate the lunar landing. We found some fun events that will keep you both feet on the ground, but your head in the skies. And next, the scientist has landed. It is all about gravity on the next Mad Science. Hey guys, it's April Ansira from Ansira Wind Chevrolet. Thanks for joining us on this month's SA Live Big Adventure. Make sure to watch each month as the SA Live team takes you to new places all over South Texas. And don't forget, and Sirwin Chevrolet can get you on your next big adventure too. Just stop by or visit AntsiraChev.com. All right, well, of course, the anniversary of the lunar landing is tomorrow, and in honor of that, the gravity is going to be strong here right now. And that's because mad scientist Andrea Cook is here with some gravity-defying experiments. Ooh, that's a nice lead-in, thank you. You're welcome, it was quite dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about some forces that affect um, astronauts on Earth and then in mm -hmm. space. Okay. Um, and my home planet is Earth. Uh, uh, yours is as well. I would think so. Um, so we're going to have these little, um, these are going to be our model astronauts. Gravity keeps you down, which is kind of a bummer, mm -hmm. but it also pulls down your atmosphere, which brings you your oxygen, okay. so not such a bummer, okay. right? Um, you need it. Mm -hmm. And um, so right now our astronauts are happy. Now they're going to be happy in space. So this is your model space and this is my model space. Okay. So good luck to you. Okay. Um, put your astronaut in. She's excited. Okay. And then put the lid on, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take some gas out of here. Push. So yeah, just keep pushing a lot, like a lot. So what we're doing is we're taking out some of the gas, right? Now our friends, the astronauts also have gas. We all have gas, don't deny it, okay? And <laughs> so we, many jokes running through my head. We need that because we have atmospheric pressure pressing on us 14.7 pounds per square inch. Feel like you're working out? Yeah. Now look this at your This is my cardio person. for the day. Look at your astronaut, is she happy? She's Has still she smiling. Yes, but mine's oh, bigger. It's getting bigger. She's not thrilled, okay? <laughs> um, and the reason for that is we're taking gas out of the space, our pretend space, so the gas in her is cut, like it wants to go from high pressure to low pressure. Yeah. So when we send an astronaut to space, we have to make sure we give them oxygen to breathe and also some atmospheric pressure. Otherwise, they're oh. not good. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna push this and I'm gonna do this and we're just gonna let them come back to their regular size. Oh, look at that! Mine's like not cooperating as much, but um, I'll get it, don't you worry. All right. Oh, there you oh, go. I wish Where it you go, little lady? I wish it was that okay. easy. I know. <laughs> All right, so now the pressure is equal and everybody's happy, right? Okay. Now, the other cool thing is whenever I finally go to space, uh -huh. I'm going to be tall or taller, not uh -huh. tall. Um, because you've got gravity pulling down on you, it actually makes, um, if you spend time in space, your bones and your muscles um, weaken. Right. Because you're not, not using them. Right. 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 Um, so this is our little, we're using air pressure to simulate it, but that's our little astronaut in here. And so you push down and you have to kind of look closely, observe with scientists' eyeballs, see how she goes down a little bit oh, at the top. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that little cushy stuff in between your vertebrae, when it's not having to deal with gravity, guess what it does? Oh my God. It expands. <gasps> Oh yeah, 
I would be one to two inches taller in space. <laughs> yes! I, know. I would be I'm very happy now. too. <laughs> Sweet. Um, now the big thing, the big force that we want to talk about besides gravity is centripetal force. Okay, so it's a center seeking. It's looking for the center. And this is an activity you can do at home. We have these clear balloons. Okay. Now, normally we use pennies inside, then we put some gas in there um, from our lungs. Okay. Um, you have a penny, and I have something different. So mine's gonna be a little bit different. Let me grab a penny one real quick. Oh, so yeah, you there want we go. to spin around and get it going, and it's gonna go up on its edge. See my penny? Oh, you gotta get your guy going. Okay. You gotta get it going. Oh, you've got a hex nut. Nice. So the penny is silent, the hex nut makes noise. But centripetal force. We've got procession bringing it on its edge, but it's pushing on the sides of the balloon, and it's seeking the center. This pretty is hours right? of fun. I know, let it go then, too. That's well, pretty fun. Oh! But I want to be fun and mildly scary. OK. Um, we're going to use these boards. So you're going to put a, a little cup of water onto your board, and you're going to turn them upside down, defying gravity, not letting water come out of the cup or the cup off the board. Wicked, all right. Right on. Okay, so you're gonna be using, you're gonna have a lot of centripetal force. You gotta overcome that gravity. Let me see so what you're gonna do. You hold, <laughs> I'm gonna do the easy. I'm gonna hold it by um, the knots. Okay, so you go around, right? Uh-huh. The, the stop, the and slow it's down. Made. It's okay. there. So think about like orbits. Uh-huh. Okay, you gotta have that centripetal Force. I'm in the safety zone, but I believe in you. Okay. okay, yeah, the splash zone should be right around here somewhere. I don't know. Do it. Right, here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh! Is it happening? Yeah! Is it happening? How do I, I stop it? Santa, Texas. Oh, slow down and bring it down and watch. Oh! Yes! We're at sanantonio.madscience.org. We're doing birthday parties, ending summer camp season, and big science shows. Still ahead on SA Live, they keep their eyes on the skies. We hang out with a local group of stargazers, including one man with a strong connection to the cosmos. And next, it's a new take on a moon pie. We're making space-themed treats that take out of this world. Welcome back to SA Live. And look at that, we went to the moon. Isn't that incredible? Well, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing and parties won't be complete without these sweets. And food blogger Michelle Barrera and her assistant, Chef Gianna Smith, are here to teach us some fun space desserts the whole family can make. Thank you so much for being here today. Of course. And you know what? I was actually scrolling through Instagram earlier and these just popped up on my feed and it was like a random thing, right? And I was like blown away. And then Robert, our producer, was like, yeah, they're going to be on the show today. I was like, that's awesome. So we're going to be making this. What's the first thing you do to start making uh, the icing? Well, we get one of those picks. Okay. And you're going to drop it in each one of the four colors that we have there. There you go. And then each the, one? No. Oh, one, that's yeah, okay. There and you then, go. Uh huh. And then actually, you can just do drops. Oh, drops. Okay. You can't cool. make it, you can't mess it up. Okay. So I'm going to start doing this. But you tell me, how'd you get started with crafting? Well, uh, I started out just making scrapbooks and doing things for the house. Uh -huh. And this whole thing with food really got started because I'm known as the cook in the family. And then I made a cookbook for all of my kids for Christmas one year. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, now cookbooks are, I mean, they're still very popular, of course, but Instagram and social media is really where it's at. So I'm hey, gonna, I gotta keep up with the time. You gotta so. keep up with it, right? Yes. Don't we all, there we go. Okay, so I got some drops in here. Yeah, every color. Every color. Yep, we got them all in. Did you do it? Did it. Okay, now let me help you out. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Oh, there you go. And then okay. so we, and we then got Gian on the step stool. Almost got knocked Gian, down by that. Gian, you ready for that. this? Have you tried some of these already? Um, yes. Okay. What do you think about them? Are they really good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we got a good swirl going. That's a really nice swirl. Yes. Good job, team. And I'm going to get some of this going for Gianna, so there she can also and participate. Gianna, do, you, do you get to make these all the time? Um. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. So I'm gonna get her going with this swirl. Perfect. And then you, young man, nice watch start. how gracefully I went around that time. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I start dunking these in there? We're gonna start with the Pop-Tart. Okay, the okay, Pop-Tart. So you're gonna dip it in there. Gianna, you know what to do already. And just go right into, just dip it in. Dip it in. There you go, now don't let go of it. Oh, okay. Don't, don't lose it. Okay, and then kind of swirl it around. If you're not happy, look at it and see if you're happy. Oh, I love it. Okay, now let it dry. 
All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, that Professional. Came hey, you know you what? did really good. Yeah, there we go. All right, there you go. I'm going to keep doing this. Now you can do this. Do you're I doing this here? With, yeah. You look at how there. cool the Oreos yes. look. Yes. I mean, yes. and really, that just took minimal colors over there, but you're really Absolutely. creating something that looks uh, really. Well, and it looks right? like the galaxy. Right. Yeah. How cool. And now, where can people go to find more information, different uh, recipes, things like that, that you have available? Well, I've got a website, uh -huh. and I've got my Instagram, Instagram page, Michelle Sips and Savers, which, of course, links to my website. I've got Perfect. lots of cool things on there. And, um, you know, head over there if you want some great ideas. And now, earlier, you gave us a good tip. You said, uh, don't try to make everything on your own. You actually had a nice hack. Uh, for us when you were talking about this pastry over here. So talk to yes. us a little bit again about it. What makes it special and why should people use it? Okay, well that, all of the items that are in that basket are all HEB uh, Quest for the Best items. Mm -hmm. And I happen to use, I used to work out in Kyle, Texas where the Texas Pie Company is located. So I kind of have a personal connection. And when I found out they were gonna start selling their dough, I was like, I've got to try this <laughs> stuff. So I always feel like as a cook, you don't have to do everything by yourself. You yeah. can you can have make some things from scratch and other things you can buy. So then, I made these yeah. stars. And you made the stars out of that, right? With that, with that dough. These tartlets I made with their tart shells. And so these stars, you can actually get one of these and you can even come over here and you That's can That's the idea. All these items. You are over reading here. my mind. Look at that. And all right, and Deanna, I'm, you're going to keep rocking out these Oreos. We're going to Yes, and I'm going to actually show her something real quick, yeah. quick she can do. All right, Gianna, start putting the stars on those. Nice. And, what and about actually, this you're going to sprinkle some of that dust on there to make it look like the galaxy. A little moon dust put on yeah. top. There we go. We got Absolutely. some of this outside, too. We are walking around in it. Look at that. There we go. Oh, and that fan's working out perfectly. Look at That's that. on the side there. Perfect. Ooh. There we go. A little bit of moon dust on there. There you and like I said, you don't have to make things hard. There's another item in that basket from Afia Foods Kibbe. And if you know how to make a good guac, go buy some kibbe or buy some good pita chips, and you're done. That's so it. So all of these things are some scratch and some from the store. Well, thank you so much for being here and showing us how to make these fun ideas. And, of course, to get more information on Food Blogger and Michelle Barretta, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on our As Seen on Essay Live tab. I was out of this world. Still ahead on SA Live. Need a buzz? Get it. Buzz Aldrin, that is. We're mixing up cocktail, cosmic cocktails that will leave you seeing stars. That's funny. That's a good job writing, guys. And next, his work is sailing through the solar system right now. We learn about decades of work in the space program from a local stargate. Mic check, mic check, us. test, test, test. Mic check, mic check, test, test, test. It's time for your Lunar Landing Community Calendar. Several fun moon-themed events are happening around town this weekend to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. The Open Library is showing the new documentary Apollo 11 from 1 to 3 p.m. Tomorrow, it features never-before-seen footage of one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, and best of all, admission is free. And round up the kids, they can make their own Blue Moon Jar Luminaries at McCrillis Library tomorrow. The crafting session runs from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. It's limited to the first handful of people who register, so sign up now by calling 210-207-9170. Well, how about an art experience? Check out Amanda Miller's performance at Blue Star Contemporary in Southtown. Her installation is called Hollow Moon Rings Like a Bell, and it features bells with what looks like little moon rocks inside of them. It starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. A $5 donation is suggested. And as we told you at the top of the show, the SCOBY Education Center is hosting a Moon Day shindig called The Next Giant Leap. There will be STEM activities, robotics, drones, and special speakers to celebrate the half centennial of the lunar landing. The event is free and runs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow at the SCOBY Education Center on the San Antonio College campus off of North Main Avenue. And if you have an interest in the stars, there's a group of local sidewalk astronomers that meet every Wednesday, right, at the Raymond Rimkus Park in Leon Valley. And among the group is a man who has some amazing stories and a strong connection to the cosmos. Way back in my early career, I was a Johnson Space Center, and I was lead technician in the instrument lab, and I did have some work that flew on a space shuttle. I was there for the first five flights, and then after, after the fifth flight, I figured I could do without me, and I moved over to Southwest Research. My first one was called Image, it's uh, orbited the Earth, and I worked on a sounding rocket project called Caper. Then I moved on to the Rosetta, and uh, Rosetta went out on a nine, eight year journey to capture a comet. What sticks out the most is I'm in the clean room 
covered head to foot in garb, but I'm sitting there working on something, holding it in my hand, and knowing that it's going out into space for nine, 10, 15 years, and everything I'm doing is gonna go out there, and I've gotta do it right, because if I don't, something fails, and that's millions of dollars of taxpayer money would go down the drain. Well, at uh, the time of the moon landing, I was in Chicago, Illinois. My wife was four months pregnant with our first child, and we watched it on a little bitty TV, because that's what they had back in those days. I was just totally amazed. It's, uh, the, the technology even then, it, it, it was just almost unbelievable. Well, it looks like they're finally getting back in gear to go back to the moon. Of course, it's not just us. Russia's going there, China's going there, India's going there. You know, it's, it's so interesting. I wish I could have seen the first moon landing, right? Could have been there, because we have a, a, one of our directors at, at Casey I was telling us this morning, he was 12 years old yeah. when he got to see the moon landing. You should ask Mike. I know, you should ask. <laughs> he would know. He would know. You know what, and even if he didn't get to see it in person, he would know everything about he it. Would totally he just knows everything. <laughs> All right. The guys with the San Antonio Astro Astronomical Association would love to show you the rings of Saturn. You can join the group most Wednesdays, weather permitting, at Raymond Rimkus Park in Leon Valley. They meet from 7 to 10.30 p.m. It's totally free, but they appreciate donations. Still ahead on SA Live. Before they face off against other groups from around the country, some of the Crossmen Drum Corps are here to give us a preview of tomorrow's big competition. And up next, it's a galaxy in a glass. We're mixing the perfect cocktails to go with a night of stargazing. Stay with us. Well, 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 we are looking at Earth from the moon. Welcome back to SA Live. We're everywhere. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the lunar landing, and if you want to take a trip to the stars, just take a sip on these cocktails. That's right. Gary Laredo, the general manager of Sangria on the Burgess here, mixing up some cosmic cocktails. Woo. What's our first drink? Yeah, actually, the first one we're doing is uh, it's called a Cosmic Buzz. Okay. Uh, we actually named it after uh, Buzz Aldrin. There you go. First one on the moon. That one got me earlier. That was, that's funny. That's, yeah. that's good. All right, so what's the first thing you do to uh, make So it? first thing, you're going to grab a handful of blueberries, which you're going to put in your pint glass. Okay, a handful of blueberries. And Fiona, you have an actual, you have another cocktail we're going to be making here in a little bit, mm -hmm. right? There you go. Okay, so you got the blueberries, blueberries in there. Little, fresh little fresh ginger. How much? Uh, actually, this, this little one. Oh, the little one. Perfect, yeah. I like a lot That'll of ginger. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it has a lot of strong flavor in it. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of lime juice. A little bit of lime juice. As well. Okay. You uh, tell about me. Half an ounce. Half an ounce. Do I have just yeah. eyeball it, or do you think we can just go yeah, in here? Definitely eyeball it. Okay, you tell me when. All right, you should be good to go. <laughs> okay. I don't, have, I don't have that measurement, you know what I mean? Like, uh, there so we go. So all you're okay. going to do, muddle it until you get all the juices out. Okay, here we go. And now, do you guys just came up with this, or is this something that, you know, you've been working on for a while? Um, it's something we worked on the past couple of days. Uh, we have a really good uh, bar program here at Sangria and the Berg, so a lot of our bartenders work, work together to come up with a lot of our, our special cocktails. When um, is your happy hour? Happy hour? We do, we do a happy hour three to six. Three to and six. we have a reverse happy hour nine to close also. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need what right are right some of the there. hot items on the happy hour menu? Uh, sangria, for sure. Mm -hmm. We do uh, four dollar sangrias, four dollar frozen margaritas. And those are the, those are the big ones. That's those the one. The All right, so fly. now we got it muddled. What do we do? Yeah, uh, we're going to add the gin. Okay. So gin about two ounces two, of gin. Two ounces. And that's this whole thing yes, right sir. here. You got and it. And then after the gin? Uh, we're going to add the egg white. So you're going you're gonna to do the special presentation. Okay. So the, so the egg white makes it, gives it that what, that frothy? It gives it that frothiness. Froth we're looking Let's see, for here frothy. We go. It gives it frothy. frothiness. And Just you're, you're it, with uh, oh, here we go. This is, this is, there's only one egg, y'all. Remember, you're an astronaut. You can do this. <laughs> we practiced this earlier. So. <laughs> I don't you, think got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh. There you go. The grace and elegance. Grace and, and elegance. And there we go. Okay. Drop it in there. And there we go. You're going to give it a dry shake. Okay. With egg white and the shaker. Dry shake. Put some, there you go. <laughs> there we go. This is what they teach you at NASA. Oh, yeah. So um, could go. <laughs> we definitely, uh, we pride ourselves on using uh, those fresh quality ingredients as well. So we did fresh blueberries, fresh ginger, fresh mint Uh huh. for the cocktails. Uh, now you're going to shake with ice. Shake with ice. So shake while you're shaking it with ice, yeah. the, the finishing touches on this oh, are yeah. made out of what? What is um, this? So this is rock candy. Uh -huh. Actually, we just uh, grinded down rock candy to a powder, which what we're using for... A garnish. So and that like kind of looks like yeah. the galaxy. So it's really cool. Um, so, so you want to uh -huh. dip in your lime? 
Okay. <laughs> My hands are covered in yeah. egg and let's see. Hey, there it is. There you go. You guys do this all the time. All right. I don't know how you do it. So it's always amazing to in. see a good bartender, right? There we it's go. I'll nice pour this in. Rim. What you're going to want to do is strain it out. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. So. <laughs> you're, you're almost there. Well, have you strained it out over you're there? We're yeah, yeah. You start on working on that one. I'm going to strain this out. Moon, okay. Right? Yeah. Which is this drink right here. Yes, yes, okay. we can. So we'll get you set. Um, you're going to do your two ounces of bourbon. Okay. We got 30 seconds. You just, you just tell me when, okay? There you go. That's good. You All got right. it. Now? A couple ounces of orange juice, a couple okay. ounces of pineapple. All you right. You can add that ice it to it for you. Ice. Woo! That is, uh, that'll do, the, that is a strong drink. And just shake it. Shake it up. Nice little bartender shake. Yours looks more blue than mine. What yeah. Oh, you put some blue in there. And am I straining it? There yes. you go. Uh, no, just nope. throw it in with ice. Oh, just throw it in with ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Throw it in with ice. Add and... a little more ice in there for you as well. Okay. So you're just going to do, uh, this is grenadine that we're going to finish it off with to give it that color. Uh, so you're just going to drop some on over on the edges and it'll go straight oh, to the, the bottom edge. for you. Oh, on the edge. Straight to the bottom. Yep. There, there you go. give it that uh, blood moon color to it. You know what, Fiona, right. cheers. So we just finish it off with mint. Salud y pestetas. All right. Yes. We'll craft, craft For more cheers. information here, on Sangria on the Berg, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's right. And next, world-class musicians give us a stellar performance where you can see them take part in a musical extravaganza. Welcome back to SA Live. After months of rigorous rehearsals, world-class drum corps from around the country are preparing to face off for the first time here in the Alamo City. But before they take the field, the craftsmen are here to give us a sneak peek performance. Take it away. Natalie Steele, the Director of Development and Communications for the Crossmen, is here to tell us more about what the team has been doing to prepare for the event happening tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you guys for having us today. So the last time we saw you with your rehearsals, you were just starting. Mm -hmm. But tell us, what has it been like over the summer getting ready for this? Oh, it's fantastic. This is a really competitive year for us. It's a very hard season, very challenging, but they are thriving and succeeding uh, throughout the season with our show. So tell us about tomorrow's big competition. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Uh, this is our home show. We are from San Antonio, but there's going to be about uh, 25 to 30 other uh, drum corps at different levels uh, competing against each other. Um, and it's going to be, uh, Crossman will be one of those that performs, and we will also um, compete against all of those. And are there more competitions to come? Yes, we have three weeks left, uh, a lot of, lots of big competitions. We will go until August 10th. Almost every day will be a show for us. And how are the kids preparing? Uh, every day. They work every day. Today they are rehearsing. It's a, it's a full day of rehearsal today. And so they're going to be at uh, Dub Ferris Stadium um, rehearsing. Everyone's welcome. It's an open rehearsal. And tomorrow we will also rehearse at the same stadium. And of course, you did this, right? I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, I've had the honor and the privilege to march with Crossman for two years, back in 2007 and 2009. Um, they're the reason why I'm here today and the reason why I stick around. And how can people get tickets for the event? Yeah, we are, we are sold out with Crossman uh, in our block, but DCI is selling them at www.dci.org. So there you go. The DCI Southwest Regional Championship is happening tomorrow. It starts at 1.30 at the Alamo Dome. And for tickets, information, or for more information on the Crossman Drum Corps, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live. All right, Natalie Steele, the Director of Development and Communications for the Cross. Monday on SA Live, Breakfast and Burgers, a local restaurant getting a lot of buzz, cooks up some of their most popular dishes. Plus, summer looks for guys. We're helping the men in your life stay stylish in the South Texas heat. That's all Monday at 1 on SA Live. There it is, the hot debate question. Yeah, you know, I mean, do you believe in aliens? We want to know, yes or no. I don't and know if I believe in that alien. I, you know what? <laughs> the aliens I believe in, I hope they are like that. Uh, Vianney says, yes, I do. Boom. Perfect. 
Jasmine says, yes, I believe so. Dot, dot. Derek, Derek says, <laughs> no. I believe in the possibility of encounters with angelic beings. Well, if aliens are possible, yeah, how is that? Yeah. Okay. Lazy Dictator says, this universe <laughs> is too big for there not to be life existing outside of Earth. Whether or not they have or do visit is up for debate. I think we have some here. Uh, we can't be the only ones. Check out these photos I took. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's in the she bottom. Says, it's in the bottom. You could see at the top something streaking across the sky, and then dot dot dot. Well, we don't I, see I anything. I'm not sure if it's just. Wait. I blew it up. Oh, Still can't understand what it is, but it wasn't moving fast. Oh, but it was moving. Oh, it fast. was moving fast. Sorry. I can't really see it. I don't know if it's just because of the monitor. Or... Well, hello. You know, it, it was actually it was a very fun day. We're celebrating the moon landing, and uh, it's this just this is a very comfortable way to go to the moon. This really is. You know what? If we have to go to the moon, Star Zone's the way to do it. The Star Zone is is is. We got our treats. We got our suits. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Ted is prepared. Ted <laughs> is prepared. Okay. You know what? You know what he's prepared for is in case they try to steal his thoughts. That's right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We got a lot coming up Monday as well. Oh, he's saying he can't steal our treats. They just. Get